I am. We're going to. Let's see where this starts. Let's take questions for Jordan Blount and Tayo Diasi when you're ready. Hey, Ty, um, that second unit really got you guys fired up in the second half, and then the, the guy to your right really took over, Jordan. What do, you, what do you got to say about that? Definitely. I think that we are a really deep team, and I feel like when we make substitutions, we don't have any drop-offs as far as offense and defense. So, I mean, that's what we really bank on when it comes to winning games. Uh, Jordan, in, I think in a series of a couple of minutes in the second half, you had a alley-oop to Ty. You had a solo uh, jam. You had a tipped out of bounds, and, and then you had a bounce pass uh, to, to uh, I believe it was Ty, it's, you know, to uh, to change the momentum of the game. Talk about what you were seeing on the court and and yeah. and how you were feeling about your game. Um, so for me, I feel like um, we were playing slow. We were we were walking up and down the court. So like, what I do is I bring energy. So I just try to channel that in the right way and find Ty in good spots, which is easy for him to score, uh, which he did. So I was just trying to channel my energy the right way to pick the pace of the game back up. Uh, Jordan, um, can you describe your your play? It seems like you play with a chip on your shoulder. You're always going after those 50-50 balls. Mm. Sometimes you rattle your opponents. Can you just yeah. explain that? Um, I, that kind of stuff all comes from like how I grew up. Like, I grew up in a big family with a lot of uh, siblings. And like I, it's the Irish in me. <laughs> <laughs> Prior to when you guys went on your uh, run at the end of the second half, both teams were kind of struggling offensively. There were, both of you guys had uh, scoring droughts in a game like that where it's very defense-oriented and neither team is uh, is scoring very much. What's your mentality when you're playing in a game like that? This is for either one we just of gotta you. Stay, we just got to stay tough on defense because if we can't – well, with this team, our defense leads to offense. So if we play good defense, then we're going to be able to score regardless. But uh, when it comes to droughts like that, we just can't let up on the defensive end. Ty, this is your fourth year here. Um, you guys really took the punch in the mouth today and came back and won. Do you think that this is something you would have been able to pull off last year or the year before, or is it just a maturation of your teammates? Yeah, I think we've matured a lot from um, last year, and I think we were able to finish games off you know, more now this year because of the mature players we have on our team. Either guy, um, how does it feel to be 6-3 and three in the Horizon League? It's the uh, best nine-game start in conference since 2002-2003. Um, I feel like right now we're not looking at that. We're not looking at like how many games we won. Like We're just trying to play the next game, win the next game. So like every game, our mentality is we're 0-0. So we're trying to get to 1-0 every single time. Yes, sir. What was going so uh, right for you guys defensively in the second half? Um... I think we just we just were a little unfocused in the first half. We just came out and uh, knew who we were guarding, knew our personnel, and we just went out there and tried to take away their strengths. Yeah, I feel like when we press and we do our full court press, I feel like that forces teams to play a lot faster than what they want to. Mm -hmm. And for us, that's we're comfortable at that. Like when we're playing slow, you see it's like we're not playing at our best, but when we get everything ticking, like that's when we're rolling, we're playing better. So when we can get teams out of their comfort zone. And into ours, everything gets taken there. Anything else, please, guys? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.